lady coming at you with Leo Life Application Overview of the Sunday School lesson entitled Faith in Jesus for Sunday, December the 3rd, 2017. A little background. Sanhedrin was a Jewish council which consisted of high priests and 70 leaders appointed by him, the priest that is. They persecuted Jesus' followers. Sanhedrin Trivia. They supervised operations of the Jerusalem Temple. They served as a combination of legislature and judiciary. Legislature is an or organized body of people who have authority to make laws. Judi judiciary, ooh, that's a hard word to say, is a branch of government that relates to courts and judges who have vested or assigned power. Jesus was a perceived rival to the Jewish council, also known as the Sanhedrin. Rival means two trying to get what only one can have. Earlier verses in chapter 3 of Acts tells us that the apostles Peter and John were at the temple speaking to the people about Jesus' resurrection. Some of the people were annoyed and had Peter and John placed in jail for the night. The next day, rulers, teachers of the law, and others questioned them. Peter and John gave the disabled man something better than money, the ability to walk. He was disabled from birth. The man was grateful and appreciative of the healing. After the man was healed, he, Peter, and John entered the temple with unimaginable joy and relief, as the commentary says. Curious people ran up to them in a place called Solomon's Colonnade to see what had happened. The people were astonished, surprised, or amazed by this miracle. Peter addressed the curious onlookers to let them know that the man's healing was the result of God's power, authority, and amazing grace. Life application. Not only did the disabled man have faith, but Peter and John had faith also. We all know that faith without works or deeds is dead. When we pray, we don't have to sit around waiting for something to happen. We have to get busy. We have to be consistent and sincere in our prayer effort to God and we have to get up and do something. The other day at work, I got a call from someone who needed help with a computer issue. On my way to check out the issue, I whispered a little prayer that the issue would be already resolved when I got there or that I can resolve it in a timely manner. After trying a couple of things, the issue remained unresolved. I then thought, hmm, I'll have to try one more thing before I get my notes and try to figure this out. But I didn't have to because the issue was resolved. Because the disciples were quote unquote handpicked by Jesus, I believe they were men of integrity and much faith who really wanted to help the disabled man walk. They had probably seen the man many times near the temple begging, but this particular day was different. Peter and John allowed the Holy Spirit to use them in a powerful way. Their motive for doing what they did was not selfish, looking for praise or recognition, but they acknowledged the power to heal the man came from God.